Yes, sir. Are we doing well? Very well. Are you sure? We are grateful. We are, we are good to go. Thank you very much. If Nigerians vote for APC, Nigeria will sink. In poverty, and the, the economy will be in shambles. Hello, guys. This is the final result of the Edo State Governorship election, where APC has been declared the winner by INEC. APC scored 291,267. PDP came second with 247,374 votes, while Labour Party came distant third with 22,761. Republic of Nigeria, God bless Edo State. Thank you very much.
manufacturing to their MOU today. There was a lot of drama here last night, you know, and uh, your party was also involved in what happened uh, here in the dead of the night. Now that it has been all concluded, do you think all that was justified? Well, you see, what happened yesterday is somebody who said he's going to burn Nigeria. For you to see him in the premises where election materials are kept, it's dangerous. Obasaki is a dangerous person right now. And we are calling on uh, the immigration to be watchful because the next move is for him to, to zap. So in spite of everything that has happened, is the government of Peru ready to stretch a hand of peace to all the parties? It's going to form a government of unity because before the elections, you can see more than eight political parties endorse him. So it's definitely going to form a government of unity. They saw in him what is not in Obaseke. So he's going to unite the state and bring the state together. Because it is only with that unity and peace that you can that can attract development to the state. The Democratic Party say they will be challenging the result of this exercise in court and they probably seem to have a lot to say about what happened uh, here today. Well, of course, you talked about manufacturing, even though sarcastically you're talking about MOU. But of course, they talked about results uh, manufactured. Don't you think that will be a major thorn in the flesh of uh, this victory that you scored here today? No, that's not, it's not possible because when you talk, how do you manufacture results? You don't manufacture because our process, our process starts from the, from the, uh, from the pulling units. And the results you have seen there are results that emanated from the pulling units and it reflected, it reflects what happened in the field as I died yesterday. And as I, as I speak, the results that are being read out today are results that we already know through our situation room because we are collecting them from our situation room. Exit poll already show that we are going to win the election. And you believe that this exercise was very transparent? It is I feel very happy. you that I'm starting from where I've been and I want to let you also know that I would like to eliminate what I want to have done in the Bible state. I told we receive a new transformation. By the grace of God, I told is back again. Thank you. Thank you very much. for the eight-year disaster of Opaseki and Aswe together. Yes. So on this day, I am very, first we give thanks to God Almighty that we did all those campaigns without casualty. That we did all those campaigns without any allegation against the candidates and any one of us missing the violence on any boy, anyone. Even when they planned and they did succeed in the killing his bodyguard in order to frighten him, God say, my son, who I have anointed, will not be fretting. So tonight, it can only be joy and joy and joy. 
I give all the praises to God, our Creator, that He has made His own Son, who He has chosen to clean the mess of the outgoing and even not outgone of Baseki and the fake artificial intelligence it was going to bring. <laughs> and though we now be governed by a combination of a man enriched with native wisdom, a man familiar with the custom and tradition of a state, a man who by his personal lifestyle is humble, gentle, but focused, a man who has used his personal resources to show love and commitment to babies, to mothers, to the elderly, to children, and to community. We can call him a guy who has huge credentials in terms of community services. A man who just look like me and said that he's younger, he's fresher, and he has better energy to do the job that God has now entrusted in his order. So I am a very happy man, I am a fulfilled man, and now I ask God in his evening powers to further enrich him with wisdom so that together he will make a difference. Let it be said, 10 years after his rule, people will say, during Senator Monday, now we get this school. During Senator Monday, now we get this hospital. During Senator Monday, now we get this room. For me, it's a personal fulfillment. And those who say there will be bloodbath, God has put them to shame. There is no single reported incident of anybody being shot during this election. There is no one who is in the hospital. So when the National Act Chairman of PDP said there will be blood by, and people say no, there will be celebration. So for me, it is important that there is no violence. Even those who refuse to sign peace agreement that have been consumed by the war in their heart, not the war provided by anybody. So to God be the glory. Now, hello, ladies and gentlemen, I have the special honor, and I want you to listen, the special honor and real privilege to produce a man who God has created and whose parents, knowing his future, decided to give him God's will, God's will, no man's will. Common Senate President of the Third Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He has come to a door typical of him to lie low, quiet, invisible, all in prayer that may the will of God prevail in this election. Who else can that be? The only Senate President in the history of Nigeria who, while he seated, encouraged, supported, mobilized and did everything that was within his powers legally and democratically and transparently to ensure that one of his own colleagues because he accepted us as his colleague even though he's our boss in the senate to support one of us to become a governor and i speak of no one else but the man who whose parents know what he will be when they name him god's will at Pabi, the uncommon senator, uh, the uncommon senator of the 10th Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the man who has showed so much commitment to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's vision for renewed hope, and the man who is willing to take all the bullets to ensure that the ship of state remains afloat using his legislative powers. For which I am proud to say he is my Senate President. Yes, God's will, I you. you. How do you feel Thank you. on occasion like this? Uh, uh, Baba has said it all. Uh, for me, uh, I believe that this is a turning point in the politics of Edo. This is a turning point in the politics of Edo State. The will of God has been done today. Um, I regard this day as a day of liberation. You mean God's will? Yes, has been done I, I believe God's strongly will. that God's will yes. has been done today in Edo State. Yes, and I also want you to know that the will of God for people 
is nothing but progress, happiness, joy, and prosperity. I, I believe strongly that the election of Edo, though very tense at the beginning, the outcome is a reflection of the confidence that Nigerians have continued to express in President Asuwaju Bola Metunibu, that his administration has made a mess on the ground, but they are, they are doing their best to see how they can turn around the fortunes of Nigerians. I want to tell you to remain patient and Please. Can you tell us what's happening right now? We actually are not quite sure what is happening. There are supposed to have been some collation in some of the local governments in Oredo and Ipubaoha. All of a sudden, some people came in through tear gas and kind of drove everybody that was there outside the office. They've now insisted that all of those collations should come into the high neck headquarters. The problem was our agents then started telling us that they were not being allowed into high neck headquarters. So my deputy and I came in here to find out why they are not allowing our agents to the collation center. There are too many funny things going on all of a sudden. And there seems to be any complicity, police complicity, working together. And this cannot be right for democracy in this country. You know, they're trying to subvert the will of the people of Edo State, and it will not happen. By God's grace, it cannot happen. Edo State people will stand and fight for their rights. All of a sudden, you see all these funny results coming out of Edo North. It doesn't make sense. How do you have the full number of accredited voters or people who took PVCs when you know averagely it's 25% to 28% for a good election of people that turn up eh, for the election out of those that are truly accredited? How? All of a sudden they're having 90%, 100%? And everybody sees this clearly. But we want to subvert democracy in this country by all means. And I don't know why we do this thing to ourselves in this country. The desperation for power by those who have nothing to offer the people of this country is just incredible. So what's your plea now, sir? No, I, I don't have a plea. The people of Edo State who have exercised their right to vote and have exercised it in the direction they want for the candidates that they want will stand up and fight for their rights. It's not about me. It's about us.